What kind of special preparations did Channing Tatum do for his role in Magic Mike? Whoopi Goldberg and Nene Leakes on Glee at the same time. Plus, we get a sneak peek of Rihanna's new music video. This is Just Dance, April 27, 2012. What's going on, y'all? I'm Stephen Boss, but some of y'all know me as Twitch, either from Step Up or So You Think You Can Dance. But I'm here today with Just Dance, hosting it out, giving you all the news from the dance world. So we got a lot to cover. Y'all ready? Let's do it. One of the most anticipated music videos on the horizon is Rihanna's Where Have You Been? She actually posted a video on YouTube of her rehearsing with choreographer Hi-Hat. I got excited from the clip because you really get a straight shot of the choreography. It really lets you know what's gonna go on in the music video. There's some fancy footwork in there, and Hi-Hat is known for her footwork. She's a heavy house head, she's from New York, so she always has some nice footwork going on, and Rihanna said she was rehearsing it quite a bit, so the dancers are gonna be crazy. They're gonna be killing it, so Rihanna, please show us you can do more than just, you know, swing your hips and sing, right? You have all these crazy dancers doing ridiculous choreography around you. Join them. You can keep up, I bet you can. Just rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. The first trailer for Magic Mike is finally out and has a lot of ladies wishing it came out earlier than June 29th. Fellas, be warned, this is not a date movie. Don't take your girlfriend to see Magic Mike, especially if you're out of shape. Channing Tatum, Matthew McConaughey, Alex Pettifer, and Matt Bomer are just some of the dudes who wax their chest for the sake of art. I'll admit, I was pretty impressed with Channing Tatum. Of course, dancing. Turns out Channing's really good at dancing and a natural at stripping. I mean, this is not his first time on a pole. You've all seen that YouTube video, right? Magic Mike is actually based on Channing's real life story. And at least these days, when he's taking it all off, he's making more than tips. A lot more. Little monsters around the globe are gearing up for Lady Gaga's Born This Way Ball. Her world tour kicks off today in Seoul at the Olympic Stadium. Rumors of Gaga's top secret costumes, Ricky Jackson's choreography, and the stage designs are everywhere. I think I even saw a leaked set list. Looks like Gaga's got a show filled with her newer hits like You and I, Edge of Glory, and Marry the Night, but is also filling her monster's appetites with her older dance hits like Poker Face, Telephone, and of course, Just Dance. So what do you think about the set list, real or fake? Which ones are you excited to see? Leave a comment right down here, let us know what you think. Lee aired their Whitney Houston tribute episode this week and the cast covered a whopping seven songs from the music icon. If you forgot to set your DVR, check out Mia's FYI Glee Cap right here. And you better get excited for next week's episode. It's a double dose of guest stars with NeNe Leakes returning as Coach Roz Washington and Whoopi Goldberg makes her debut as the head of the New York Academy of the Dramatic Arts. Do you think Kurt and Rachel will actually impress Whoopi during their audition? A couple weeks back, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, and a couple of their friends did an unofficial music video for Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe. It was a lot of blurry lip singing action going on there. Now Katy Perry's doing her thing too with her poolside edition of Call Me Maybe. I'm sure Carly Rae's not mad at all this free publicity. Which unofficial video do you guys like more? Comment me, maybe? See what I did there? ABDC's return of the superstars is really living up to its name. They started off with Britney Spears and this week was Madonna week. As always, Just Dance was backstage giving you VIP access to all the crews going for that ABDC championship. Today we're dancing to... Girls Gone Wild. Good, good Girls Gone Wild. <laughs> Being the newest video that came out, this was a huge challenge to do something very different. We didn't want to be compared to the video at all. So we took it in a different direction. But I have never been so excited to perform on the ABDC stage. You know, here in LA, you don't know if you're gonna be stuck in traffic or looking for a parking spot for about an hour or so. In the meantime, I like to dance in the car, whether I'm driving or sitting in the passenger seat. And if you're anything like me, you should definitely check out the music video from the Neon Trees. It's called Everybody Talks and it has a lot of car dancing in it. Now let's switch gears and go check in with Courtney Pants to check her review. To be completely honest, it took me a while to actually watch the full video because I kept getting distracted by my own dance moves. Honestly, you play the song and you just got to bust a move. And they have a choreographed car dance. It started with a whisper. I want to kiss her. The car dance reminds me of the chicken dance, or whatever that was. I don't want to be a chicken, I don't want to be a duck, I want to be a zombie, ho, 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 ho. 
I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it went. I have a feeling that this music video was kind of inspired by MJ, but instead of the thriller dance, we got the, the chicken dance going on. Overall, I think that I'd give this music video like three 0.25 unicorns out of five. I mean, it deserves at least three unicorns. We're past the halfway point with Dancing with the Stars. This week was Motown week, and they had awesome live performances from Smokey Robinson and even The Temptations. Make sure you click here for my recap of this week's performances and results. Right there. Right there. The results are in from the first round of Dance Showdown. Did your favorites make the cut? To find out who's moving on to round two, click here. Justin Bieber's new video, Boyfriend, has been the most overhyped thing since Kim Kardashian's fake wedding. Well, it seems as though I'm not the only one that got sick of the endless teasers for this video. Miranda Sings actually scooped the Biebs and made her own music video to Boyfriend. Our good friend Tadric Hall joins Miranda in the video, so that makes this cover a duet. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda loving their cover more than the real thing right now. So Justin, please drop the video. Hurry up. Anything you want. If I was your boyfriend, I never let you go. There's only three more episodes of Smash until the season finale on May 14th. If you're slacking on your Smash game, check out Luan Legacy's recap of this week's episode right there. All right, you guys, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling informed. I'm feeling like I need to go do 300,000 crunches after seeing the Magic Mike trailer. So I'm going to go do that. You like and favorite this video. Subscribe to Dance On, and I'm going to go work on my stripper moves. I'll be right back.